Sanders Sports opens the 1986 college football season. Tonight, live from Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Alabama Crimson Tide faces the Ohio State Buckeyes in the fourth annual kickoff classic football game. We're ready to play football in the Meadowlands in New Jersey, and if you will note, the ball is on the 35-yard line. That's the most significant rule change this year in college football. We'll explore that a little later. Ohio State won the toss, elected to receive. Van Tippen is kicking off for the Crimson Tide. Workman and Holland are back deep, and it goes to Jamie Holland, the senior from Wake Forest, North Carolina, who's tripped up at the 15 and falls out to about the 18-yard line. Jim Carsados, the senior from Fullerton, California, at quarterback for Ohio State, broke many records last year for the Bucks, and he is going to go upstairs on first down and does. And he has a man open. He clears it out to Vince Workman, coming out of the backfield, and he gets out to around the 30-yard line. Oh, a big draw, Carsados to throw. senior out of Elgin Air Force Base, Florida, turns the ball over on that interception, and it's Alabama's ball on the 40 of Ohio State. Slot to the right, the inside handoff goes to Doug Allen, and Allen is inside the Ohio State 35 at about the 34-yard line. Eric Comero, number 14, the potential All-America linebacker, makes the stop. They got to play it exceptionally well, handling the perimeter people of Ohio State. down near the 29-yard line of the Buckeyes. Mike Shula calls it and gets that pass away and it is completed to Doug Allen again to his fullback and he will be very close to a first down and may have it as he was trying to beat the sticks. A 38-yard field goal and a fourth down and one will be the attempt by Van Tiffin out of Red Bay, Alabama. One of the all-time great kickers and from the hash mark right side he bangs it downfield and through the uprights. So Van Tiffin, who is just absolutely a sensational kicker, puts Alabama on the scoreboard with a 38-yard field goal here in the first period. And we'll be back after this special message from Governor George Wallace of Alabama. On behalf of the people of Alabama, I would like to wish the University of Alabama football team the best of luck in tonight's game. Go get that great Ohio State team. Van Tiffin ready to kick off. He just put the tie to hit three to nothing on a 38-yard field goal with 11, 21 to go in the first quarter. Vince Workman and Holland, Jamie Holland, Holland at the 10 for Ohio State. Here he comes. Jamie Holland out of bounds on the 46-yard line in his Buckeye career. Play action and straight to the fullback. The pitch coming back to Workman. And Workman breaks for a big gain and a first down on the 26-yard line. Action play of all things. Play action this time. Carsadas to throw and he completes it to Taggart his tight end. And Big Ed may have a first down outside the 15-yard line. Everett Ross is now in and is the wide out to the right for the Buckeyes. Carsadas in the pocket. Lots of time and Taggart can't hold on the tight end leaping for the ball but we had a flag on the play inside the five yard line and the penalty is against the Buckeyes from the 34 making it a 44 yard shot the snap is fumbled Alabama reacts and will take over the ball at its own 34 yard line and Kirk Jarvis the senior nose guard from Glendale Alabama is the man that comes up for the big play there he's going to wear out his hat before the day's over oh he got a headache in his second down and short. And Alabama picks up the first down with Gene Jux, who gets to midfield. Mike Shula, last year of Alabama. Oh, he has joined some great, great quarterbacks in that Alabama roster. The rush is on. He swings it out into the a little bit underthrown to Kerry Good coming out of the backfield. 4.40 to go in the first quarter. Alabama leading by a score of 3 to nothing. Third down, Buckeye. Play action. Carsados to throw up the middle. Down as Nate Harris goes up into the air to pull it out. Bama showing blitz. Here they come. And Cooper. And Cooper. 
Cooper gets down across the midfield stripe to about the 49-yard line. And so is Everett Ross, who's off on the right side for the Buckeyes. Play action. Carsado gets it off to Ross. Ross bubbles the football and right into the hands of Chris Carter, however. And Carter is finally yanked out of bounds near the 30-yard line of Alabama. Big play for the Buckeyes, third down. Play action. Carsado's rush throws. Overthrow. Something went wrong there. A 42-yard effort. Take over. 58, 54 seconds to go now. Shula on a draw. And Shula back to Bobby Humphrey. Big hole up the middle, and Humphrey breaks one tackle and almost broke the big one. But he is finally pulled down by David Brown, the safety. A 20 yard pickup on the play. First quarter, Ohio State 104 yards total offense. Alabama 58, but Alabama has the lead, and Shula goes to the draw. Doug Allen inside the 45 of Ohio State, and he will be. Just about at the 42-yard line, Chris Spielman, number 36, the All-America linebacker, and Sonny Gordon, the roverback, make the tackle. Mike Schuler brings the tie to the line of scrimmage, looks back to Humphrey. Humphrey trying to get to the outside, is spun out of bounds, and he is down to the 36-yard line of Ohio State, and Greg Rogan, number 29, the cornerback on the close side of the field, out of Urbana, Ohio, on the tackle. Third down, six. Schuler, four out of six, 15 yards so far. Bell in motion. Shula looks. Under a rush, incomplete. Bell was in the area at the 20-yard line. 45-yard effort. It is good. Third down three for the Buckeyes. Over the ball, Bob Max, the All-America center. And Arsato's throwing, caught by Taggart. Now it's going to be important where they mark the ball. Shula on the option, keeps it, and gets nailed at the 38 by Chris Spielman. Shula looking back over the middle on a fine catch for a, a first down by tight end Howard Cross, number 85, and Mike Key, the strong linebacker, and Eric Kumaro bring him down, but he got 10 yards and a first down. Just watch him, he did hold the back. And Shula this time pitches to Jumps coming out, and Jumps runs into a lot of trouble. If that wasn't a busted play, it sure looked like one. Now, that was a bad option is what that yeah. was. Second down, 13 for Alabama. Tied leading six to nothing, second quarter. Shula fires away. It's going to be picked off. The receiver wasn't there, but Sonny Gordon was. And Gordon on the return for the Buckeyes. Takes the ball down to the 45-yard line of Alabama. Garcado's throw. That's Chris's first reception at the 27-yard line of Alabama, an 18-yard pickup. So watch out for the blitz. And an inside handoff goes to Holland, and Holland is on the way. Touchdown! And it becomes third down seven at the 45-yard line of Alabama. Bell goes in motion back to the left. Shula in the pocket, throws incomplete. Bell was putting at the 50, and the pass was underthrown, but Shula was running out of time back there. Ray Holloman had the coverage on the play for the Buckeyes, who will now send in their receiving team. As Chris Carter's foot to the right side, and it's Workman on the call coming to the short side of the field, and he picks up a first down. Workman out across the 45 to the 46, and Kurt Jarvis, number uh, 95, the nose tackle makes the stop for the Buckeyes. Good play action, and Carsados gets hit as he throws that ball. The arm had gone forward. It'll be incomplete. Derek Thomas, 55, ran the circle route. The left outside linebacker was coming and hit his arm. And the clock near the two-and-a-half-minute mark now as Mike Shula calls the play for the Tide on the draw. Happened to be in the right place at the right time, and that was West Neighbors, the center. Chris Moore, two punts, averaging 32 yards. And Moore drives it downfield. Pretty good punt. Ohio State. It is Everett Ross at the 39. And Ross is brought down as a flag in the play at the 45-yard line. A 42-yard punt 
at an eight yard return. Let's see what the flag's about and the clock stops. Right on, Kevin, and a face mask call against Alabama. lead Alabama by a score of seven to six as the first half comes to an end and Steve Davis and Kevin Kiley those who expected and there were a lot of them expected a low scoring at least first half got exactly that third down three after the last play Bell and Whitehurst and Richardson three wideouts are in the game for the tie they go to the halfback draw off the split and Doug Allen is stopped short of a first down just about at the line of scrimmage by Chris Spielman, the All-America linebacker from Massillon, Ohio. Chris Carter and Jamie Holland are the wideouts on second and nine for Ohio State. Play action, and Corsados fires to his tight end, Ed Taggart, number 80, and he is brought down by Bantrese Davis, number 47. I believe he has a first down after a gain of nine. Then stay around. They move on. He's a tough man to work for, but he's very demanding. down down to the 45 yard line first and 15 Carsado there is Carter and Chris is out of bounds on the 34 yard line and a first down on a 17 yard pickup Carter two catches 35 yards this time Harrison motion to the right and a great play by number 94 Anthony Smith as he went firing through to knock off Vince Workman in the Ohio State backfield. A loss of about five on the play. Ohio State, third down seven. They're one out of five on third down calls tonight. Carsonos gets hit, bounces off a would-be tackler Smith, and here is Cooper trying to get the first down. I don't believe he has it. Bill Matlock in for one play at fullback. Cooper is back. He leads the block, but the tackle made behind the line of scrimmage on Pitts Workman by a very aggressive Alabama defense. 37-yard effort. Morrow, the freshman. He's got plenty of distance, and he splits them. And Ohio State adds three, and the Buckeyes now lead Alabama by a score of 10 to 6. Big series for Alabama. Now their offense has been asleep for a quarter and a half, and they've got to get it going. Omaro, who kicked the field goal, whacks this one downfield from his own 35. It'll be taken by Kerry Good. Carsado's play action in the pocket, swings it out to the near side to Workman. His half back and Workman is out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. Make it the 20, yeah, 22-yard line of Alabama, a gain of 13. Second down. Workman inside the 15 to the 13. Alabama's getting tired. They've been on the field a long time. Here is Cooper going up the middle, and Cooper loses the football. Alabama recovers. Alabama at its own 12, Mike Shula gets it underway, rolling to the left and throwing, and he completes it. Mike Shula hits uh, Kerry Good, his fullback coming out of the backfield, and he will be close to a first down. Greg Rogan making the stop. You cannot lose your guts inside the 15. Go with your offense. Just after the first down of the last carry, and now Gene Jumps turns it loose. Out to the 35-yard line for 11, and he's got a first down. 10 to 6, 4 minutes, 5 seconds to go in the third quarter. The inside handoff to Kerry Good, and Good makes a first down after a real struggle. The handoff didn't look like it was that clean, and but Good picked up what he could, and what he got was enough. Alabama's moved from its own 12 to the 46. Shula gets nailed, and he throws an interception. It is picked up by Chris Spielman, the All-American linebacker, and it's Ohio Ball to the 49-yard line of Alabama at the 47. Carsonis in the pocket throws right over the middle of Workman. Workman a first down inside the 40 at the 37-yard line of Alabama. But they thought they could keep it out of the, keep uh, Ohio State out of the end zone. Carsonis under a rush may get hit and he may have hit the arm forward as he's being pursued. And it was Philip.
Brown, number 89, who has come into the ball game. There he is, a junior from Birmingham. They had predicted hard rain all day. It never happened, thank goodness. Second down eight. Schuler, Humphrey. Humphrey fumble for Ohio State recovers. Jim Carsano's warmed things up in the third quarter as he takes the Buckeyes into a 10-6 lead in the fourth quarter with a third down and 11. And the ball is on the 27-yard line of Alabama. Carsados in the pocket. He wants it all this time for Carter. It is incomplete. The coverage by number 21, Freddie Robinson, the quarterback for Mobile. 44-yard attempt for Omaro. He was short from the 42 and good from the 37. Let's see what he does on this one. Not enough. Alabama takes over. Third down and four for Alabama. has a challenge. 85 yards away from the lead. Workman, no place to go from the left side. And no place to go, period. Second down, 10. Anthony Smith, who's had an outstanding game for the Crimson Tide, makes the last tackle. The fake draw. Carsados now is going to have to run the ball, gets back to the line of scrimmage. All right, Alabama, I'm not sure if they have 10 players or 11 on the field right now. Carsado's throwing, completes a pass on the 20-yard line. But uh, Randy Rockwell puts a hit on Nate Harris and drills him down at the 21-yard line where it is fourth down and five for Ohio State. Bama leads by three, and Gooden jumps to the running backs for Mike Shuler from his own 40. The inside handoff goes to Kerry Gooden, and Good bangs up near the midfield strike. Five minutes, 42 seconds to go. And Schultz, looking on a roll, gets a great block. In fact, one of the officials got blocked out of the play, and Schultz carries for a first down at the 37-yard line. He is indeed a big play man. Schultz on third down. Richardson. And he has the first down at the 25-yard line of Ohio State. Shula, 10 out of 17, 68 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. This is Kerry Good. Keeps breaking tackles, gets down to the 20-yard line. Third down, four on the Buckeye, 19. Albert Bell splits to the right side. Wide to the left side is Clay Whitehurst. Flag down. Kerry Good at the five. First and goal at the play stand. On the Ohio State five. Jumps. Spun down by Chris Spielman. Schiller goes down at the 10 under a rush by Chris Spielman. And Spielman is now at 16 or 17 tackles. Van Tiffen will go for the field goal attempt. A 28 yarder. He's hit from 38 and 44 tonight. And this 28-yard effort is good. 16 to 10, Alabama. Keep it in front of you if you're on defense. Get deep, keep it in front of you. Carsados to throw, throws over the middle and completes it to Workman. And Workman is done for the 28. We have 47 seconds left to play in the game. Second down, a little over two. Carsados guns for the sideline, completes it to Carter. And Carter gets out of bounds with 24 seconds remaining but he's in Alabama territory on the 48-yard line after a 22-yard pickup. The ball was moved back just across midfield into Ohio State territory. Play action, Rosado's under a rush, completes it to Workman. He's out of bounds to stop the clock, and we have 19 seconds remaining. He's on the 45-yard line of Alabama. Rosado's 20 out of 30, 193 yards. Rosado's is in trouble. Seconds left on the 48-yard line of Alabama. Carsados going to air it out. Four seconds left. That's up for grabs. It is not down the clock of the play. No time left. If that is a defensive penalty, the game will continue. No time left, but if the
the foul is on the defense, Ohio State will still have a play. And apparently it is on Alabama. This ball never had a chance to be caught. This is Derek Thomas following him down the field. And there, no, that's an awful play by Derek Thomas. That ball never had a chance to be caught.